Hi everyone and welcome to this time lapse of my painting of a baby on pastel matte paper. This is done in soft pastel plus some pastel pencils and I was also given some pan pastels to try out so it will be interesting to show you how I made use of those. Hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't already please do subscribe here on YouTube and also check me out on Patreon for my full length tutorials. So the first thing I do, as with all my work, is block in some background and you can see that I have a little palette of pan pastels in front of me and I'm using some of their sponges and applicators to apply some of those base coats and I found that great on the pastel matte paper. I hadn't used pan pastels before this and I make use of them quite a lot throughout this entire portrait. I especially love um, applying the pastel with the applicators although I'm a big fan of using pastel on its side and all the different parts of a soft pastel to get different marks. But certainly in a, a portrait like this where I wanted to build up skin tones and also all the soft textures of the fabrics around him, it was really useful having those applicators to blend and apply the lower layers especially. And I also used my bigger palette of Unison Colour along with this. I even found that I used sometimes the applicator to rub a little bit of pigment off one of my other pastels. So the applicators really were uh, so useful in this piece, especially when I get to the skin tones. But I really loved the surroundings in this portrait and wanted to create all of those soft fabrics around the little baby, which I think really sets off a portrait having some nice textures around them. And I created a very plain background to this. If you want to see how I can create plain backgrounds that help your subject pop, I have a new video coming very soon on YouTube showing you a few tricks um, how to create nice directional lighting. But for this one I went for something really subtle and just in keeping with all the grey, the sort of blue-violet greys that are in the surroundings. So I jump in with some pretty lively, darker colours for the skin tones. And I immediately work up the ear as I just want to get a feel for what tones I might use in the portrait. And a bit like on my dog portraits, I often start off with an ear just to get a feel for what colours to pick up and add to the palette. And a lot of this was very experimental, um, adding in blocks of colour. Try not to blend too much in the early stages, really just blocking in some colour. A bit like most good pastel papers, you really need to get some pigment onto the paper before you can really start to move it around and blend things nicely. And I use those applicators, you can see some of the pan pastel tools for when my finger was just too big an object to blend an area or apply pigment to an area. I really thought the tools were a fantastic aid and it made pastel take that step even closer to the world of painting. Um, to me, pastel is painting. I apply large blocks of colour and work up in tonal value. It's very similar to oil painting. So uh, the pan pastels really accentuate that style of painting with pastels. So that's wonderful. And just coming gradually up the tonal values, starting to smooth the skin out a little. With young children and babies, it's important to not add too high a contrast especially in any little bulges or lines anywhere. You don't want them to look older than they are, which is sometimes the trickiest part of painting children is to not make them look too old. So I try to keep everything very soft. And just using the pastel pencils to accentuate any little dark areas like around the nostrils or inside the mouth, places where it really is dark. It 
If you're interested in seeing how I create the skin tones, I'm currently working on a full length tutorial where I'll slow everything down and let you see in real time what I'm doing and tell you the colours that I'm using and pretty much explain my full process as I go along. And you can check me out on Patreon if you would be interested in that type of tutorial. Here on YouTube I do a lot of these speed painting videos just to give you a quick overview of my whole process but if you're interested in much more in-depth tutorials covering all of this plus a lot of animal portraiture, um, textures and backgrounds, I have a good growing library over on my Patreon channel. And the all important eyes in a portrait I'm using a lot of the pastel pencil just for the very finest ridges of colour around the eyes. And my best tip for painting eyes is to be careful of the colour of the white area in your eyeball. Never go too white in there. You have to think of it as a white surface that's quite possibly in shadow because it's tucked inside behind the eyelids. So always think of those whites as more likely to be a light blue. One thing that always jumps out of a portrait is when the whites of the eyes are too white. And you can see that I'm using a mixture of the soft pastels and the pencils and also using those great applicators just to tweak everything into place. And on the pastel matte paper, I found I could, I could really tweak for hours. The, the paper doesn't fill up very quickly. Everything's very movable. You can blend very easily. One thing that I sort of dislike about pastel matte is it just feels like there's nowhere to hide. I feel that my work becomes even more detailed when I work on pastel matte, which uh, isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I've been constantly trying to loosen up in my work and I think that's why I have a love affair with the Hanamul velour paper that I use a lot. I feel it can be more painterly, a bit more expressive on that paper. But it's early days with pastel matte for me as well, so I'm going to keep using it for certain portraits that I think the extra detail would really suit. And I'm really impressed with how much I could do with the skin tones on pastel matte, how many layers it accepted, how easy it was to blend. So yeah, I highly recommend this paper, especially if you're just starting out with pastel. So his cute little outfit, which wasn't too complicated, but the colours in it just really add a nice bit of vibrance to the portrait. And just some finishing touches around the little hands. This one's in a lot of shadow over here, so I'm not going into too much detail on this hand. You can be selective when things are a bit further away in the picture, how much crisp detail you add. And that will help the sense of depth in your picture. And now the final touches were all his little animals and shapes on his top, and I just use a Faber-Castell pastel pencil to add those on very quickly. And just a few finishing touches. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this come together. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and visit me again. And a big thanks to Pan Pastels who sent me a beautiful palette of their colours to try out. And this was the first painting that I got an opportunity to try them. And I'll go into a lot more detail in my main tutorial about this, about how I used those pan pastels. Uh, but thanks to them for sending me a sample to try. I will be making use of them much more in my work in the future. So until next time, happy pasteling!